drown! All of you drown! No, no, no. It seems we have found ourselves a volunteer. Uh, Bernard, excuse me, I have to go to work real quick. How's it going, everyone? Bertimus here, and welcome back to another week in the forest. Did you miss me? Come on. Yeah, come on. I know you miss me. Oh, another wonderful new morning here in the forest. Morning, Bernard, how are you? Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know what that means. You're weird, Bernard. Uh, let's grab a little brekkie. Much obliged, Ricky. Thank you very much. Now, for today's mission, we have something very specific I want to go get first and foremost. I got a couple ideas for today, but there's something else we need to go do, like, right now. Blah, there's all this stuff over here. Someone should clean it up. Someone's gonna cut their feet running through there sometime. I hope it's the cannibals. Is this the entrance I want? Yeah. Yeah, this is it right here. Sorry, Bernard, but, uh, we got, uh, we got some other things we need to take care of today. Yeah, I, I can't... I can't be wearing you down there, man. It's too dangerous for you, Bernard. Uh, hello? There you are, my friend. Well, there's your other buddy. You dead. You're dead. Golly, I got money to pick up, man. You're trying to stop me from picking up money? <laughs> no, 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 no. Ooh, hello. Lighter. Show it to me. Oh, it's a part of the robot. It's a leg. I guess I got, I guess I got my bug spray. What else we got? Oh my god, more bug spray! Hello? There's something walking around here? What? Was that a magic chair? Were you the thing I was here and kind of do the thing? Were you trying to load in? Was that the problem? Oh, come on, man. Ooh, another picture. Hmm, the sinkhole. All right, now we're starting to get some clues as to where things are at around here. Let's break down these walls. Mr. Gorgachev, knock knock. Hello. Whoa. Hello, friend. Two of them? Two of them. Alright, one at a time, please. No, I said one at a time! You're so rude! <laughs> you realize you killed your friend, right? Okay, come on, Liner. You got to be a little more reliable than this. I mean, we're gonna pull out our upgraded stick and put some cloth on this thing. I bet you this is more reliable. Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of cloth boxes. I'm gonna have to come back for those at another time. What is this? <gasps> another flashlight? Ha! Did I just see a heart fall? I'm probably gonna lose all my fire, but what's behind this? Show me your secrets! Oh, God. I didn't want these secrets. Blech. Those are terrible secrets. I guess we go down the ropey, ropey rope. Hola! Como estas? Mi nombre es Bertimus. I don't know who's down here, but I'm gonna beat you with the stick. Ha ha! There it is! I found it! My underwater breathing apparati! This dude's dabbing in death, man. Put this thing on. Ooh, look at that. We have no idea what we're gonna find, so, uh... You know what? Let's just... Let's just go for it, man. Okay, seriously? This thing's got, like, a sweet headlamp unit on it. Why can't I use this all the time, like even out of the water. Why can't I have the option to just click that thing on? It's friggin' sweet, man. Of, of course I'm cold, I'm underwater underground. I bet it's freezing in here, actually. Ah, no! I saw that, there's babies. All right, all right, babies, come get me. Come on, baby. Yes, yes! <laughs> come on, babies, drown! All of you drown! No, no, no. There's no escaping the water. Not for any of you. There are more babies up here. There's nothing else there. There's just some sticks and flares. So, I say we keep going. There is other secrets we need to find. I think this literally every time I play this game. About how terrified I would be if they ever put a legitimate, like, water mutant in the game. The closest thing that... Hello. I'm gonna hold that thought. Cause there's a big old door over here. All right, all right, all right, I'm cold. You know what? Why don't we just put Bernard on for a minute and I'm sure we'll be fine. Bernard, I can't see you with this thing on my face. But you're keeping us warm, I appreciate it. Now these are some very conveniently placed rocks. This looks like a weight system. These look like weights. So what happens if we do that? Okay, first of all, this door looks like it was made out of, like it's something out of Game of Thrones. It looks like it's just made out of giant blades. Number two. Number three. 
How many does this need? Knock, knock. Excuse you? What is that stuff in the ceiling? Is that a chain? Seeing all the glowworms hanging from the ceiling is just a really, really cool touch. Oh, <sighs> okay, I actually remember this room. I don't, I don't really remember the door, but I remember the room. What is that? Looks like a fucked up cross. What is that? Is that a Bible? These guys pray into it? It looks like y'all got obliterated where you were. Like, how does a corpse even stay in that position? Once you're dead, wouldn't you like, just like slump over? Okay, so since I do remember this room, I will say one thing I'm super happy about, especially in this exact moment, <laughs> is that they took the armsy out of here. There used to be an armsy guarding these secrets. Oh, there's a Bible right here. We have Le Babel. We've got some sort of book beneath the limestone <gasps> Ooh! Hey, hey another X to add to our collection we got that rusty X look at this thing it's got great block decent dance they're like this is the first time I've ever really looked at these stats looks like a like a charcoal sketch of Virginia who were these people like staying in here were these like monks priests something and why is this painted on the wall more accurately it kind of looks like I think it's supposed to be charcoal, but it looks like spray paint. <laughs> Guy looks like he was holding a, a can of spray in his hand and just... Where else do we need to go? I think we need to go... I guess we go down here. Whoa, we definitely go down here, but this is... Dark. How is this stuff just staying suspended in the water like this? Wouldn't it like sink or float or something? These are some really deep waters. This is... Very crazy. Oh, I guess we go up now. Okay, I guess we just shimmy on up here. What awaits us at the top of this rope? Is it more beasties? Is it babies? Chocolate bar. There's a picture. It's another one of the X's. We gotta get to that pretty soon. If you don't know, all those X's that we're finding in these photographs, each one marks a certain location in the map. That when you go to each one of them, you find parts and pieces to assemble a very uh, specific item in the game. For a lot of you out there, I know, I know you know. But some people don't. So for them, I'm gonna leave it a surprise. There is a ton of water, and I am surprised there is water this deep after how far we had to climb up that rope. How far down in the ground were we? Holy crap. This is exactly the reason you wanted to get this breathing apparatus. You would not be able to do this without it. Oh. Oh, I guess we have a new animation to swim out of the cave. Oh no, is it becoming nighttime? Can it not be nighttime? I would like that very much. So that spat us out at Geese Lake. Oh, there's a rainbow! It rained outside! Oh, it's so pretty! We got what we came for, and I got other stuff I want to take care of at home, so I'll check back in with you guys as soon as I get home. All right, made it home, got some rest, a little breakfast, a little water. Feeling pretty good. As for my other plans, in the last episode you may have seen that I get visited in this location on a fairly frequent basis and while sometimes it's nice for resources, most of the time it's just annoying. I want to minimize that. So I know, I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to be setting up base or anything like that, but who am I kidding? I'm a builder. I've got the itch. I want to build things. Until we finish the story mode, I'm revising myself. Until we finish the story mode, this will be our temporary area. And so if that's going to be the case, well, I mean, I, I want to make it look a little nicer. You know, I want to make it feel a little more burdenous. In order to do such things, I'm going to need a little peace and quiet. So I want to set up some defenses. Gates on both sides of the beach and to both of these main entryways here. And then I want a wall that goes all the way around in a half circle around this little beach area. I want to claim this whole beach area for myself. It's not a Burdemus build unless I do something stupid with rocks. For any of you who may be new, who don't know what I'm talking about when I say it's not a Burdemus build unless it has an insane amount of rocks, definitely go check out a couple episodes from season one. <laughs> we have all the blueprints laid out. We've got our four doorways at each of those locations, plus the rock wall that I'm basically gonna have just go all the way around. I actually want to put up a wall here, but I don't want to cut off access to the turtles because this is a very popular spot for the turtles to come up onto the beach. So I want to put little rock rails essentially here and then put a stick fence across the top. There's open spots on there for the turtles to kind of come sliding up onto the beach still. Turtles, 
Turtles are important to me. Why you gotta bring up last episode? Don't be me- Stop! Don't be mean! That was an accident and you know it. Look, this one even wants to help! You grab a cart, let's go. We gotta start getting all these- All these rocks. Might have to pick up the pace a little bit. I, I I tend to work a little quicker than that. Things are coming along. I've got the first layer done. I've put down the second layer, started kind of working on it over here. I will say it bothers me a little bit how uneven the ground is over here. Like I kind of knew that. I mean, honestly, if I wanted to level this ground out, it would probably take like some sort of ridiculous platform or something like that. It's just not worth it. So we're just going to work with what we got, uh, which isn't so bad. It just means that things are gonna be a little wonky here and there, which is not exactly ideal. But again, just remember, this guy has crash landed on an island and he's doing all this with his bare hand. Let's talk about something real talk here. This guy on his own is taking down trees and he is stripping them down into these nice logs. Impressive, but also take into consideration that he then sharpens those logs to a point at different lengths in order to build a door like this not to mention he can hold two logs at once this dude's swole i've still got let's see what do we got here 650 more <laughs> rocks to go I'm recording for a little longer than i thought i was going to today but it gotta get done i knock my mouse <laughs> i'm also taking advantage of some of the the visitors coming over still every once in a while in the evenings and the day and i decided to put up a few more light you know waste not want not turtle where are you at? These sleds are not going to push themselves. Chop, chop, back to work. We've got three layers done on this dang wall. That's right. I went through this thing three times just to finish this dang wall. We're done. Wall's done. But it's not quite done. I still have some rocks that I need to put in. There's a couple of these I got left I need to finish. Because I wanted to put some at each entrance. So we're going to need more friends to come by and help us. I'm not entirely happy with it, but I don't necessarily want to take the time to fix it right now, so we'll leave it as is. It gets the idea that I had in my head across, but it needs some refinement and tweaking. Whoa! Well, 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 well! It seems we have found ourselves a volunteer! Uh, Bernard, excuse me, I have to go to work real quick. Uh, I'm sure you'll understand. I just need to, uh, I just need to take care of something real quick. Excuse me, thank you for volunteering. Your sacrifice, I mean, your contributions are well appreciated. Oh, Bernard, you really didn't want to see that. One thing I am reminded of, well, not necessarily because of this, but just being up here, the site of my old base, is specifically this little island out here. Right, right out there. You know, if you, if you squint a little, you can, you can see it out there. Just right... It's right out there, that one. I think we're we'll gonna have to go out to that island and cross it off in the next episode. 